throw that down and pull this out. Hello everybody. I hadn't planned on making this video, but I ran across something that's kind of interesting. There's gonna be a kind of a video about this car that I picked up. I installed a France filter on it, the toilet paper oil filter. I hadn't originally thought about doing that with this car because I don't plan on putting a lot of miles on it, but it had a water pump failure. And actually I hadn't even d d planned on buying this car at all. I ran across an ad on uh, Facebook marketplace and I've had one of these before it's been wrecked and I have a good engine and transmission so I kind of was just looking every now and again to see if I could find a good body with a blown engine so I could get it cheap she thought the engine was toast in this thing I think there's kind of a flaw in the design of this thing because the water pump is inside the engine driven by the timing chain so if the water pump when the water pump fails um, you have a massive job to fix it. So anyway, I, I still have the car with the, that's been wrecked. I'll show you the car here. There's the wreck. So anyway, the price she had was 2500 and I just shot her offer of 1500 and she said, no, I think I can sell it for more. And so two months went by and she messaged me back and said, can't get a buyer for the car, so it's yours at 1500 if you want it. That's not really the point of this video, but I just got just got this car running. So the first thing I did was I drained the oil. This is what the oil looked like. Like a milkshake. And not only that, there was 12 quarts of it in there because it was uh, taking taking the water out of the engine and putting it in with the oil. So you had, I'm surprised it didn't hydro lock because you had that s milkshake all the way up into the intake manifold, which we cleaned that out. And the reason I want to make this video is I think this is a great testament to these toilet paper oil filters. So I put that on there before I started it up and I have the the return line going back right there. When I first started it up, it was pumping like halfway, almost three quarters of the way into that um, space there. And I've only run it for like 45 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And show you oil is just barely trickling. Barely trickling out of there. Now, so, what I want to do is change that toilet paper. So inside this engine when I tore it apart, I had to take the, the front cover off, the timing cover. I replaced the timing chain, which is, since it's dual overhead cam, it had two extra cam chains driven off the main one. So there's a one in the front, or one on each one, and then behind it, there's another one driving the other cam. So take all that off and replace that, and then replace the, the water pump. I think this car is a good runner now. But anyway, it's only been running for 45 minutes and I think this is already plugged up with, with sludge. This is the first time that I've used a sandwich plate adapter. I don't know if you can see it in there, but yeah, there's, there's three ports on this. I got two of them plugged and then I got a, a 90 degree coming out of there with the, with the supply. And I probably should zip tie that better because it's hanging down too much. But it needs to be zip tied up there. But yeah, that was really easy. It was just the, you know, just get the right threads on the, for the sandwich plate and then put it on and then put your oil filter on top. Worked out great on that. I loosened that just enough. That's as far as I can tilt it. Guess I should burp it.
don't really want it to leak oil. It is slowly leaking out of the return back into the valve cover, so that's a good thing. While I got you here, I wanted to ask for anybody who might know. These have, this is a, I thought it was the same Sky Era France, but then this one, this one has a different style gasket which I hadn't seen on the other ones. Everything else looks the same. Did come with the ring, which I don't use, but the gasket is on the side. I don't know if that's good. I would think that that, that kind of gasket would be better because you could put pressure on it. We'll see, I don't know. And where do you get the gaskets for that? Because I think the ones they sell are this style. So am I screwed if I need to get a gasket for that? Where would I order it? And there's no point of putting this, this kind of clamp on it because you can't get extra pressure, extra downward pressure on it. So this, this kind of clamp is more than likely just fine. Who knows? Maybe it's, maybe it's better, I don't know. But this one doesn't have any markings on it except for the stamp and the steel. The, um, Restrictor orifice is in the outside output. Maybe I'll use this one on a bench top filter. All right, we let it sit overnight. Now we're going to see if it's gonna make a mess. I'm kind of excited to see how this filter is plugged up and what it, Let's see here. Oh, you know what? It's not, not too bad. The core stuck to the to the center. So this is what we got. The, this core was stuck to the center. Let's just see what we got. Let's throw that down and pull this out. That's what it looked like. Oh, well, that's not what it looked like because I pulled it out and that kind of kind of pulled the paper in. It does look like it does have some grit there though, on the top. Not sure what that's from. Like I said, this had stopped flowing completely after 45 minutes of running, about that. And it's pretty soft. I think, I think it's just got a lot of water in it, actually. Because it's not... Um, it's tearing apart super easily. I think it just got saturated with the water that was in the engine. So I'm gonna go toss this one. So this is a Walmart roll, and if I remember right, it's 25. Unwrap it 25 times and you got a perfect fit. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, that's pretty good. 25, unwrap 25 rolls. I always put it on here first. The electrical tape is still exactly the same as when I put it on there and it fits pretty snug. Oh, I need the, I put the bale in there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
I did spill a little bit of oil this time, but not very much. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and see if we're flowing. Okay, we can see it's flowing very good now. It still looks pretty clean. So I would say that the, that the France filter does a great job of removing water. It did make the toilet paper pretty fragile. So I still don't think there's a way that it could get into your engine because of the screens on the bottom. So I think you're still safe no matter what. But having the water in there completely clogged that filter up like it wasn't even flowing at all and then I changed it and now we got flow so I'll keep an eye on the flow but I think we probably removed most of the water that was in there so I'm pretty happy about that anyway thanks for watching everybody uh, like and subscribe see you on the next one